Hello and welcome back to TechTech.com. Today in this lecture we will start third normal form. So we have already understood first normal form, second normal form. Now we will start third normal form. So let's revise first normal form. What is first normal form? A relation in which there is no multi-valued attribute that is all the shells are atomic that will be in first normal form. Second normal form all the non-prime attribute should be fully functional dependent on candidate key or each candidate key. This, this is important. All the non-prime attribute should be fully functionally dependent on each candidate key. Now the third null form is little upgradation of the criteria. So let's write down the criteria first. So this is the condition check which we have to apply on a <coughs> particular relationship to check whether it is in third normal form or not. So the first one is it should be in second normal form as we have already discussed whenever we go for higher normal form it sh the relationship should be satisfying all the lower normal forms condition. So it should be in second normal form. Now no non prime attribute should be transitively dependent on candidate key. So let's say uh, a relationship that is uh, I'll randomly say that uh, A B C D is a relationship R and if BC is candidate key candidate key equal to BC then non prime attributes are CD so there should not be any relationship between these two attributes that is there should not be a functional de dependency saying C determines D fine so this should not be the case in uh, in a relation to be it to be in third normal form so alternatively we can say that there should not be the case that a non prime attribute is determining another non prime attribute fine so to better understanding we will take our previous example and we will proceed to check whether the relationship which we derived r1 and r2 after the decomposition of the original relationship so we will check whether r1 and r2 is in third normal form so let's see while studying second normal form, we broke the original relationship of R, R into two new relationships that is R1 and R2, two new relations. Now we have to see whether <coughs> this R1 and R2 is in third normal form. So they are already in second normal form. Now we will proceed with checking the condition of third normal form. So let's start with R1 or let's start with R2. So R2 here candidate key will be b okay b can determine f now non prime attribute will be f so this f is fully functional dependent on b so it is in second normal form now there is only one non prime attribute so there is no chance of being relationship or the uh, determining condition among the non prime attributes right so if only one non prime attribute is there then it will be in third normal form so it is in 3 and f now let's come to relation r1 here the candidate key will be a and bc fine so the non prime attribute is d and e but if you see there is a <coughs> functional dependency d determines e due to which a non prime attribute can determine a non prime attribute okay non prime attribute non prime attribute fine so this should not be there so this relationship r1 is not in second uh, third normal form it is in second normal form only so the highest normal form for this relationship is second now what do we do to upgrade this relationship to third normal form so right now it's in second normal form to upgrade this to third normal form we will break this relationship r1 into two or more relation but here two relation will work so we will break it into r2 and r3 and what will be the attributes in these two relations so we will apply our previous concept that the functional dependency which is creating problem for this relation to be in third normal form we will separate it into different relation or separate relation so we will keep d and e here and the remaining that is a 
B, C and one of the D and E we will keep here. So we will keep D. Now the question is why we are keeping D, why not E? So the simple answer is as here we have moved this D determines E to this relationship R3 we will have a functional dependency in this relationship D determines E. Now we are keeping here D because using this D we can refer this relationship as a foreign key we can use D and we can refer this relationship and find out D and E both but if we keep let's say A, B, C and E now this E cannot work as a bridge between these two tables R2 and R3 so using E we cannot determine E because we don't have anything like E determines D okay so what we keep this in this table will be dependent on this functional dependency D determines E. So the determinant will be in the parent table or the table from which we are breaking and the separate table will keep the attribute which is creating problem in this functional dependency that is D determines E. Fine. So now this R2 is in third normal form. Okay. So I hope this is clear now. If you have any doubt please go to the doubt section and Ask your question. Thanks for watching.